Today, Colorado State Patrol showed off its new device to stop vehicles, and it's called the Grappler. That's pretty cool. State Patrol says they're rolling out 26 of these statewide and have already used them with success. Tonight, Denver 7 photojournalist Drew Smith shows us how it works. We engage with, unfortunately, suspects that are known to drive recklessly. The Colorado State Patrol is always looking for activities that are going to be able to look at our policy, our procedures, our tactics, our training. The grappler tool is one of the ones that is the epitome of being able to do that. This is the grappler police bumper. I was watching pursuit shows and it was especially rough pursuit and I went to sleep that night and I just woke up suddenly with this image of a strap going around a tire. Approximately 50 agencies across the country use it. A lot of uh, uses that we didn't really think of. There's been a few silver alerts that had dementia or something, and they were just running through red lights. One of the police departments came up behind them and grappled them, brought it to a safe stop. I was a roofing contractor, and I was in roofing for 30 years. So wasn't exactly the likely person to come up with a device like this. So far, we've had 72 successful grapples with no known injuries. We have a total of 26. The grappler is a tool that yes, we have found to be exceptionally effective um, to maximize the safety when we're actually apprehending suspects. And we can never say that this is 100% safe because you are stopping several thousand pounds of steel. But if you compare it to a pit maneuver, deploying tire spikes puts an officer in dangerous position. It was developed in the Batcave or something, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, really. Pretty cool. That is pretty cool.